Hey y'all, it's Alicia. I'm the owner of Alicia Ray Art and I have an Etsy shop where I sell my hand-drawn artwork as digital files. Today I'm going to show you how to use the transparent doodle letter set and you can fill it with digital papers and then arrange the letters to make words. So I already have the transparent doodle letters pulled up and I have extracted the letters which you'll have to do in order to use them. And I do have a tutorial video on how to do that. And I'll link it below if you need to watch it. So on this tab, I've already copied and pasted my letter A. And then I have um, imported a digital paper that I, this is one of my drawings. So first what we're gonna do is we wanna trace the letter A. So we'll come over and click the trace, to open the trace panel click select trace area, select it, it'll turn yellow, and then you'll click trace. And then we're gonna take the original outline and move it over here because we will need it later. And we're gonna take the traced A and put it on our digital paper. You can place it wherever you'd like, just make sure that you do have a little bit hanging off. For some reason, this process doesn't work unless there's a little bit hanging off. So I'm going to select the letter and the paper, and I'm going to click to open the modify panel, and I'm going to click divide. So then you just click anywhere so that you'll unselect those two, and now you'll click your paper drag it out of the way and you'll see that your left was your letter A, but you do still have the inside, which you don't need. So in order to get rid of that, we're going to select the whole letter A, right click and click release compound path. Now we're going to select the part that we want to keep the inside of the letter A and we're going to right click and click send to back. Then we're going to click this inside part that we want to get rid of, select it, right click and click bring to front. We're going to select the whole letter again, come over to our modify panel and click subtract. And now we are left with the filling for the letter A. So all you have left to do is just place this on top wherever you'd like, and it's okay if it's not perfect. Whenever I draw the doodle letter sets that are already filled in, mine are not perfect, and I think that makes them cute and whimsical. So once you do that, if you don't want to have to drag the outline and then drag the filling around so you can select both of them again click object and group and that'll group them so you can move them both together and then a trick that you can do so that you don't have to go through this process every single time for different um, digital papers that you want to fill in the letter a you can select it again and ungroup and then now you can fill this with whatever digital paper you'd like. Um, I don't have any other ones except for that one right now uploaded. So I'll just do stripes and you can pick whatever you'd like to fill it with. And then you can just move your letter back on top. So that's how you fill in the transparent doodle letters.